So out of the three seasons of Amphibia, I admit that season one is the weakest one. However, that's not because season one was bad. It's more because season two and three had a lot more strong episodes. In season one, you can tell the creators of the show were trying their best to find their groove in the storytelling. In my personal tier list of all 106 Amphibia episodes, which we will get to in another video, the bottom 10 episodes are indeed from season one. With that said, I still believe Amphibia Season 1 is one of the strongest introductory seasons for any show. The first season did a really good job establishing the characters for who they are. We got to see how they are at a rather personal level, which makes me appreciate them even more. This is especially true with the main characters. While Anne and the Planters did have somewhat cringe moments that I didn't like, they did evolve to become characters that I genuinely cared about. Besides the main characters, the side characters also shine very well to where I care about them a lot as well. Wally, for example, is one of my favorite characters ever in the show for reasons I'll explain at another time. Also, Sasha and Grime in their respective episodes were introduced very well as the show's first antagonists, which had good payoffs on the show's later seasons. In addition, season one was less serious compared to the later seasons, which meant the comedy of the show really shined here. The humor in season one is what makes episodes like Stakeout, Taking Charge, and Snow Day as one of my favorite episodes of the entire show. Side note, in season one, Hop Pop definitely was the funniest character in Amphibia, and his moments will forever be golden. But now, I'm gonna make things right. I will redeem myself! <laughs> You know, it's actually kind of relaxing. <laughs> and now that you've read this, all you need is experience. <laughs> I don't feel safe. Then, of course, the finale of Amphibia Season 1, Reunion, is such an amazing climax that highlighted the growth that Anne had experienced over the course of the first season. In addition, the episode ended the first season in a rather shocking and bittersweet way that makes me and the rest of the audience crave for a lot more of the show and see what's next. So, you guys want to get breakfast and come up with some kind of plan to get Anne home? It's gonna be dangerous, perilous even. Understatement! Overall, the great amounts of excellent humor, Rock solid character development and world building made season 1 a very solid foundation for the creators of the show to build upon their story for season 2 and 3. This makes Amphibia season 1 not only a good season, but a very important one. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more content that I have in mind. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is just part one of a three-part series of me giving an analytical critique of Amphibia as a series as a whole. The next part of this series will be season two, and then after that, season three. And in between those videos, I plan to make certain video essays still relating to Amphibia, but going a little bit more in-depth, like character analysis. And I also want to like talk about certain themes of the show that I feel like people should take bigger emphasis on. And in case if you guys are wondering, yes, I do plan to cover other shows in the future. But I just want to get all the amphibious stuff out of my system while there are still people who, who care about the show overall. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one.